Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and the fact that at least for now, we were rejected off the peak logarithmic regression band. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Let's go for 150,000 subscribers. Give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So as you guys know, we've been following these regression bands for years on the channel. And the green one is our quote unquote non-bubble data fit regression band. And it's instrumental in identifying accumulation phases. And we were able to use it quite well earlier this cycle to show an accumulation phase, okay? So with that in mind, what is the peak regression band? Well, as we've said before, the peak regression band, unlike this regression band down here, is only fit to three data points. And that those three data points are the peaks of each market cycle top. So it's nothing more than a mathematical exercise. And if you're curious, uh, for those mathematical minds, the equation is y equals 10 raised to the power a times the natural log of x, where x is the number of days minus b. a and b are fitted coefficients. So all this upper trend line is, this regression line, is just this equation fit to three data points. That's all it is, nothing more, nothing less. And the last two times that we, re that we visited this band, we in fact went to the top of it. If you look back in 2011, we actually didn't even quite make it. Uh, there is some some issue though with the way TradingView is, is showing this. I, I think there's a glitch in how it how it shows the data um, in this month, so it, it could just be an artifact of that. But if you look at say November of 2013, we went slightly above it. Over here, I think we went maybe about five percent above it. At the time, the regression band ranged from around 800 or so up to 1130, and we went to around 1180 give or take a few bucks. And then in 2017, the regression band at the peak ranged from approximately 13,174 up to 19.5, and we peaked just over 19.5K. And right now, the regression band ranges from 58,108 up to 85,657. So, the reason why that's important is because we also recognize that this is a monotonically increasing function. If we are able to make it to the top of the regression band at some point this market cycle, the top will definitively depend on how long it takes us to get there, okay? So for instance, in 2019, imagine in 2019, instead of doing this, imagine the price did something like this, where it went straight up to the regression band. If it did that, the, the, the regression band at the peak ranged at the 2019 local top would have ranged from only 28,000 up to 42,000. So the fact that it took us another year and a half, now it ranges from 58,000 up to uh, 85,657. So again, this is a monotonically increasing function and time is on our side, right? Time is on our side. You might say, well, Ben, it doesn't look like we, we reached it. Well, if you zoom in and you go, let's go to the daily candles. If you zoom all the way in, you can in fact see the candle who could. February 21st, okay? We had a brief wick that took us into the regression band. We went up to a price of around 58,300, 58.3K and we were only there for a very short period of time. Okay, it was, it was very short-lived, only a few hours, I believe, if that, and we immediately got rejected by it. So, so far, we can say that we have been rejected right at the entrance to the peak logarithmic regression line. Now, another thing I should note, because this is important, is that it's only fit to three data points, again, so, the, the accuracy of such a fit and say predicting future moves is not going to necessarily be that accurate. It's not going to be something you can take to the bank. It's not financial advice. There is always a chance, a decent chance, 
that if we do have a peak, it could be above the regression band, right? If we, it could be here, or imagine we get rejected in the short term even more, and we have a nice little correction that takes us all the way back down here. And let's say we slowly work our way back up and do something like that. And if we were to say extend the, the regression band out, something like this, it's also possible that we go above it over here, okay? So remember, the, the height, that the price that corresponds to the peak regression band depends on time. So time is on our side. Now, with that in mind, we have to recognize that, you know, if we do come back down, that does not definitively mean that we can't go back up. It does not, it does not have to mean that we come all the way back down here. Now, it doesn't mean we won't either. And, and so that's something that people should also take into consideration. I'm certainly not saying that we're gonna go back to these levels, but it, it, is, something, it is something to take into consideration. I tend to think that you know, with, with institutional money pouring in um, and a with a lot of what the data suggests that we will in fact have higher moves to come over the next few years. Okay, I, I think we will go much higher than $58,000. The question is, is it going to happen next month or is it going to happen six months from now, 12 months from now, a year from now, two years from now? That is what's hard to say, okay? And, and so we'll have, to, we'll have to play, we'll have to go one step at a time. Remember, if you guys like this content, you wanna see more of it, you wanna follow along, subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up if you like the content. Uh, it really does help me out a lot, so make sure you subscribe and turn on your alerts, so click the bell icon and you can turn on your alerts for the channel. If you really like the content and want exclusive content, we also have the premium list sale going on. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so check that out. You can lock in the lower rate, and the nice thing is you get access to the TradingView indicators. Okay, that's one of the perks. TradingView indicators, the risk dashboard, the Telegram alerts channel, uh, the Telegram chat room, the weekly premium videos and reports, and more. Make sure you guys check it out. That'll wrap it up for the video. We will see if Bitcoin can turn this around and decisively go into the peak regression band, or if we're gonna cool off for a while and then maybe try again, try again later. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.